Hey everybody, welcome to Terra Firma Pack Plus. Uh, this is my new series. We're going to be doing some Terra Firma craft in 1.7 again, but we're going to be using Dunk's TFC Plus as the base for Terra Firma craft. I haven't done much so far. All I've done is, you know, walked around, gathered some sticks. Uh, luckily, we had a fruit tree nearby, so I, I was able to get a lot of good food. And hopefully in a bit right now we can go look for some copper because I hear there's nuggies around here. We're in a we're in a marble area. There's a lot of different stone types around, but we're mostly in a marble area, so we should be able to find some malachite. But today we're just going to kind of get started. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. And by the way, this is on my uh patron server. We we switched it over to uh TFC plus or my mod pack, which is linked down below, as well as a link to my Patreon. So any tier 2 and tier 3 patrons can get whitelisted and play along uh, on this server with me. So if that's something that interests you, uh, all the information is down below or you can ask in the comments because I think people do that regardless. But yeah, this is a very light mod pack. It's mostly just TFC Plus. Actually, it is just TFC Plus and uh, a few other quality of life things like uh, Journey Map and <gasps> Lapis. Not Journey Map and Lapis. Uh, <laughs> it's Journey Map, uh, Wayla, Mouse Tweaks, things like that. And then we do have a resource pack on. It's vanilla themed TFC Plus by QB79. And then I have a, a Brother Johnson's Sky Resource Pack. It's I, I have no idea where to get this resource pack anymore, so I'm not going to link the Sky Resource. But there's a lot there's a lot of packs similar to this, so if, if you're looking for a Sky Resource Pack, just, you know, find one. Ooh, we got some Svala right down here. So the goal for today is to kind of just get settled. Uh, we need to not build a house, but I, I'd like to get some tools. Uh, I've managed to find some Galena, which is not helpful at all, uh, and some Svalarite. Actually, Galena might actually be useful. Things things might have changed in this uh, in this t version of TFC. And speaking of which, uh, for those who don't know, TFC Plus is like a a continuation of TFC for 1.7. We're still in 1.7, so things are going to be running a little funky. Things are going to be looking a little funky. So keep in mind, this is old Minecraft. And the idea with TFC Plus is to just like keep expanding and improving on the base TFC experience. A lot of people were recommending me to try this, and I, I did always plan to. Uh, I, it, was just a, it was just a matter of time, pretty much. I think one of the biggest notable changes uh, with this version is that uh, we have a temperature gauge over here in the bottom right corner. So there's a whole temperature mechanic in the game. Ooh, I found carrots. <gasps> and berry bushes! I'm taking these. I don't care. <laughs> these are mine. So as we play, we have to keep track of our temperature, you know, make sure we have proper attire. There's like a clothing mechanic and then like an armor mechanic. It's super advanced and in-depth. I don't know how well I'm going to be doing with that, but it'll be something that we have to keep in mind as we try to survive. And there's supposed to be mob spawning, but uh, I don't know why they aren't. <laughs> so as as we uh, continue the server, you know, I'll keep updating and fixing the server and the pack. Uh, oh, another fruit tree. So there's supposed to be a lot of danger happening right now. But, you know, <laughs> it's pretty peaceful and tame. Uh, I don't think like any mobs are spawning anywhere. But yeah, TFC Plus is uh, really different. It's uh, pretty expanded. So I'm going to have to like relearn everything all over again. And it doesn't help that I haven't played Terra Firma Craft in a while. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of struggling. During my test runs, I was just constantly dying. There, there was no surviving with me, but because there's no mobs right now, I'm, I'm doing a little better. <laughs> it's a, kind of on baby mode right now, but that's kind of a good thing because TFC is really rough in the beginning. Ooh, very nice. I just found a nugget of copper. So we're in a dacite area. Okay, marble right there. Th there was a dacite over here, I swear. <laughs> uh, I did find some uh, tetrahedrite. This is fellerite. We have eight. We just need two more and we can, we can make a pick. There's one. There's one. Oh, these branches. Okay, one more. We're so high up. We're not. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm going to be one short. We might have to yoink one from one of our neighbors. That's fella right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The one copper. We did it. We're experts. Now I have to remember how to get back home. I'm not going to be playing with my journey map on, but we do have a journey map in the pack. I think I'm like right here. Okay, so I'm going to make my way back home. We'll fire this up and we'll make a... a should we make a saw or should we make a pickaxe? Because I haven't found any ore, but if we keep digging... We'll make a pickaxe. We'll do a pickaxe. Okay, I'm going to go back home. We'll do that. It's 
something tells me I should have made an axe or a saw because <laughs> then we could have had a crafting bench I may have blown it but there we go we got our axe <laughs> our pickaxe we could we could break rocks now why do I have mining fatigue oh my minor fracture how do you uh I, oh I, I remember how to do this okay I have a minor fracture because I fell on the way home I think we need to make a splint I think that'll that'll be what helps us so Need a bit more straw and then we turn this into cordage. Mix this with a stick and we get a splint. And then I think, I think we're healing ourselves. There we go, now it's going away. And I can move normal again. All right, I found a bunch of bismuth on the ground, which would have been nice to find earlier. <laughs> uh, and it's really close by. So yeah, we could have had a bismuth bronze pickaxe, but it's it's not a big deal. There's another fruit tree over there, oh my God. And I kind of started digging for the copper because that's, you know, I need to get more tools. I, I want to get a saw, but it didn't seem smart to just dig straight down because I, I can't make ladders to make my way back up. I, I don't think I'd have enough blocks to stack out. So I think I need to just keep looking for more nuggies until I can get a, a crafting bench so I can make ladders and you know all that stuff so we're just going back to exploring looking around <laughs> trying to find any kind of nugget anything that can help us anything woad what's woad i don't know if we're going to be living in spawn the whole time but uh for a while i think most people are going to probably stick around here for a bit uh, not living too close not doing a bunch of community stuff right away, but maybe in the future we'll all get together and do like a big spawn town. <gasps> Who did that? Was I moving too much during the daytime or is it just it happens to be a hot area? I, I don't really understand the temperature mechanic. I, I think this is supposed to help a bit, the hat. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know by how much or if at all, if I'm remembering wrong. There we go. We can do one more tool now and it can be bismuth bronze. I think I'm gonna head back home again and make make my tool, make my, my saw. Cause I'm not trying to speed run anything, but once you got tools, you can do a lot more surviving. And look at that, we're gamers now. We can do anything. This is like our, our weapon for any mobs that happen to spawn. <laughs> I, I don't know what's up with that. I think it might just be spawn protection happening. Cause people have been living pretty close by and I don't think it takes much to stop mobs from spawning with the, the spawn protection mechanic. I'll have to look more into it, but I think everything's working fine. I don't think anything's disabled necessarily. Well, let's go ahead and test out our new tools. Let's uh let's chop down, let's chop down this tree right here. I mean, it was like just as fast, except we have a ton more durability on our tool. And then uh, we got our saw now so we can, I think, yeah, we, we can do this now. Okay, and then we make plank blocks and then crafting bench, bingo, bango, bongo. We can do anything now. And specifically, we can make ladders. The most useful tool in Terra Firma Craft, in my opinion. Like with these, we, we can pretty much fly. We can fly up and down the walls with ladders. We can start investigating uh, the ore deposits that we've seen, try to get more copper and pretty much beat the game easy peasy technically we could try to build a house too but i, I think i want to plan something out before i just start building willy-nilly but instead let's try to dig for some uh copper i think that'll be uh not a not a smart idea but if we're lucky we'll be able to get something good oh look at how slow this is <laughs> i'm so used to like my red steel stuff i was just about to start stacking up and there's some copper it's poor oh my god well, it's better than nothing. We'll have to make do. And it's cool. It's cool that we found it, I guess. But look at how low we are. I think we're at like the very bottom of the dacite. Do I have fatigue? No, I'm actually thriving down here. We also need to make some support beams, which I completely forgot about. That's a, that's totally a thing in Terra Firma. How do you do this? Uh-oh, what do I do? Apparently it's a shaped recipe. So there we go. <laughs> Whew. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and dig out a space for the support beam. Okay, so we have 30 units of copper. Technically, if if we can get four, that's enough to do a bismuth bronze blend. Or of course we could just make copper tools, but if we can make bismuth bronze, that'd be a bit better. Hey, where'd my cape go? I'm honestly surprised that we managed to find any of the copper ore just by randomly digging straight down in a spot where I saw a couple nuggets. Okay, we got a few more pieces, not a lot, but this'll be enough to help us get started even more. Also, I have no idea how to make torches. If somebody could tell me how to make torches, I would very much appreciate that. 
I'm also going to grab a few pieces of just regular stone. Because uh, we'll need this eventually whenever we get into like anvil stuff. And I don't want to have to come all the way back down just to grab a piece of stone. Okay guys, so we need to finish off this episode because uh, I am running out of time. I will say we did we did quite a bit of work for a first episode into the series. Like right now I'm about to fire a bunch of these ingot molds because uh, next episode I think I want to go ahead and make the copper anvil. I went back to the copper mine and I mined up a whole bunch of copper. I think we should have like maybe just enough for the anvil itself and maybe like a tool or two. And I want to keep these episodes fairly short so yeah we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up here. Everything's firing and I think we're good to log off here so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you're looking forward to more episodes i will say at the time of recording this i'm about to go on a trip so i won't be around to record for at least two weeks <laughs> so there might be a bit of time between this episode and the next episode but please leave your feedback let me know any tips and tricks uh, for getting started in tfc plus and again if you want to play on here with me uh, you can do so by becoming a tier 2 patron there's a link to everything down below including the mod pack if you want to just test this out for yourself but i'm mr envelope i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace out bye bye oh look my hat wobbles <laughs>